Hello friends and potential friends. Well, I've been trying to get this video done for a couple days now. Today is uh, March 21st, Sunday of 2021. And I guess today is probably the first full day of spring. Officially spring began yesterday and I wanted to get out here and record this yesterday. But winter decided to come back to Central Florida for a couple days. We had a front come through Thursday night that cooled the temperatures down so our highs were in the 60s. And yesterday we had a low pressure area form off the coast out in the Atlantic and it just brought rain after rain after rain all day yesterday. Just a light misty cold windy rain. Rather ugly. I don't think we even made it to 60 yesterday. Needless to say, I couldn't get out here and do any videoing. Didn't want to bring the cameras out. In fact, I'm feeling a few drops hitting me right now, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get this done today either. But anyway, let's see if we can do a little bit of a walk around before the rain starts up again. Let's see, I'm going to start out outside here today. I feel a few misty drops hitting me, but uh, I'm going to try to get this done outside before it picks up again. Start off with my mulberry. And the reason I'm starting off with the mulberry is I've got mulberries. This thing's put on all its leaves in the last couple of weeks and filled itself up with berries. Still sitting in a pot, but it's growing. The horseradish next to it hasn't come up yet, but I've still got ponderosa lemons in pots, a couple of papayas. The wind's been trying to blow them over a little bit. Let me get that zoomed out so I can see what I'm doing. A couple other lemons that I got from grocery store seeds. Uh, the pomegranates are all beat up because of the wind. It's been pretty windy here the last, yesterday and last night. Got one more aloe that's putting on blooms. A uh, fig tree down in there amongst the pineapples. And the pineapples of course are all doing pretty good. My Mexican avocados doing nice. And there's the last pineapple that I planted from a grocery store pineapple. And over here this is my sweet potato slips. And as you can see I'm getting quite a few slips and I suspect when I start pulling those off they're probably already going to have roots on them so they'll just go straight in the ground if I can find some ground to put them in. Ah, oh, there's another blossom on the Jimmy Nardello over there. Here, let me see if you can see that. Yeah, there it is. That's one that was in the lab all winter. And then I've got these nine uh, dadle peppers that I planted in here as part of the spring. There used to be 12, but my buddy up the street wanted a few, so I dug a few of them up and plot, potted them up for him. And over here we have the dadles that I grew into green stalk through the winter. There's six of them in there. I see a few blossoms. And I've already got one pepper forming on this one quite a few blossoms through there and a bit of moss that got blowing in they're doing pretty good my purple cabbage still looking good I need to top that bed off with some more soil and get some okra planted in there pretty soon now the main reason that I want I've been wanting to make this video is uh, remember those four tomatoes that my buddy brought me and asked me to keep alive through the winter well, it looks like I was successful at that. We got tomatoes. They're growing pretty good. A few more blossoms. Here's another tomato. Another one up here with a few blossoms on it and a few small tomatoes. And what I've been really waiting for is this guy right here. There we have my first ripe slicer of the year. I can't wait to turn that into a sandwich. Now, rosemary doing good. Collards are still growing good. 
the mustard is all bolting. I'm going to be getting a bunch of seeds from that. The rest of the collards down there are doing wonderful. Oh, there's Torty coming to visit. She probably won't come close to me, but she does hang around a lot. The kale down there at the end is doing good. I'm not going to walk down through most of this because the raindrops are getting just a little bit bigger. The Swiss chard's doing pretty good still. I'm thinking about turning some of that into sauerkraut. Speaking of sour, my lettuce is all getting bitter. Haven't had a salad in a week now. Still got a few cabbages growing. Cilantro is all going to seeds, so I picked a bunch of that last week and hung it up to dry. And there's my wall of winter tomatoes. Looking a little bit worse for wear, but they're still putting on blossoms. There's lots of tomatoes in there. I've been getting, oh, anywhere from three to five ripe ones every day. There's a nice cherry right there. I'll be picking that tomorrow. I see a couple more in there that I'll be picking probably tomorrow. A little bit more kale down at the end. And the north side of the tomato wall. You can see a few more ri ripening ones. A few more blossoms. And now let's see what the little mini orchard's doing. Okay, out in the mini orchard. My blueberries putting on leaves and flowers. Looking fairly good. The Moringa is building a new top for itself after I chopped the top off last year. Sugar cane has been beaten down by the wind quite a bit, but there's still a few stalks standing. And as I keep saying, I need to cut those off and get them planted pretty soon. The Ponderosa lemon's up about two, two and a half feet tall. Papayas are starting to make a comeback after the freeze bit back or well not freeze we got down to 33 one night that bit the leaves a little bit but they're coming back strong now and i hope i might get some fruit out of them this year the fig's still alive back there that's always a good thing after you have an oak tree drop on you still no bees in the yard art and the red bud starting to put on leaves that's a pretty good sign of spring. Mexican avocados about four feet tall. Seems to be handling everything well. The gardenia over there is still growing pretty good. As is my grocery store lemon. And the loquat that I planted from seed. That's about five and a half feet tall now. It's almost as tall as me. And my pride and joy ponderosa lemon over here in the shade has got blossoms all over it it is absolutely loaded with blossoms and they smell oh so sweet and I've got one lemon on there it's not as big as they usually get but that's almost ready to be taken off of there okay the original green stalk Loaded with mint at the bottom and loaded with radishes everywhere else. And I'll be putting one more layer on top of this one with either some peppers or some tomatoes that I plan on getting some seeds from this year. But I'll be picking mint here pretty soon. And it looks like the battle with the morning glories is starting up again. That morning glory just doesn't understand. It can't take the mint. And the one everybody's been waiting to see, my tater tower. I have green growing out of every single entry point in there, except one. That one right there, for some reason, hasn't come up. I did stick my finger down in there, and the potato's still in there. and doesn't seem to be mushy, but I'm still waiting for that one to pop up. I keep coming out and turning this thing every day, so it's getting pretty good sunlight. And overall, it's growing pretty good, and I've got high hopes for some kind of yield out of that this year. But that's an experiment in progress, and we'll see how it works, turns out. Now, let's go back and 
take a look at the lab and finish things off. Well, what you saw outside for the most part is still my winter garden. In here is my spring garden. And as you can see, I've got lots of peppers. A lot of them are due to be transplanted or up potted or put in the ground if I can find any ground to put them in. Uh, I'm not going to go through and pick them up and try to guess which ones are which, but I know I've got Puzza Joala, Red Marconis, Jimmy Nardellos, Jalapenos. These four here, these ones, are my Adversky peppers that I got from Cindy at uh, my Lazy Day Garden. Those are going to be going in the top of one of the green stalks. Uh, there's some red California Wonder Bell Peppers back there. And I've got a wide assortment in here. And I've got, right there are four of them. And right there is another four sunflowers. My gardening buddy up the street bought me a wad of sunflowers the other day. This is how he brings them to me. And I have to separate them out put them in the yogurt cups. In fact, I see a couple more in there that I need to get potted up. So he brought me a bunch of sunflowers to grow and I got back at him. He went home with 16 peppers. <laughs> so that'll teach him. There's some corbachis across the back. A couple of red marconis that I've up potted already. And then here's the tomatoes that I'm trying to grow. Now these in the front uh, tray. Looks like all but one of them have already sprouted. This is an assortment that I got from UT and Angel at uh, the UT 33200 channel. Uh, there's, I see there's a tomato white tomasil right there in front and a pilser versi. Those are the two I can read right offhand. That back tray, that's the one I want to grow good. But I'm having trouble with it. I see I've got four that have sprouted. Those are Everglades tomatoes, which is a small sweet cherry tomato. A couple more that look like they sprouted and then something ate the tops off of. And then up here in the front, most of these are uh, homestead tomatoes. Let me check that to be sure. Oh good, that's a homestead. That's the ones that I really want to get some seeds from. The homesteads and the Everglades were bred to handle the heat here in Florida. And if I can get those to grow, I might actually be able to grow tomatoes at the same time that normal people do. But there's the spring garden. So that's a quick overview of everything. And the drops are getting just a little bit bigger. I'm going to go inside and fix myself a sandwich. And it's going to be good. See you on the next video.